Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today we're going to continue exploring the Altus Plateau. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I still have done absolutely nothing. But I think in the next episode, I am going to do a little bit of grinding off screen and get some more runes. And we're going to level up again. So get ready for that. All right. Now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we want to activate this summoning pool. Then we're going to come over here, put a stone sword key in this imp statue. Take that guy out there. Get a crimson sea talisman. You put that on and it's just going to let you get more health back when you use your crimson flask. We're not even going to go down that hallway. We're going to come down here. We're going to run to the top of these stairs. Hop off right here. Run back up these stairs and then right here is an illusory wall. We can roll through it and then we can see an imp down there or gargoyle as I like to call him. I'm trying to train myself to say imp. And then that one right there. So as you can tell they look black and then as soon as they step in the light they uh, turn back to their imp form and you can actually hit them. But while there are shadows you cannot hit them. Over there is where we would have come down if we went down that other hallway. And we would have missed out on a couple loots. Over here we're going to have some more imps. But first we're going to hop down right here. Take this guy out. Try not to get hit by the imp. Because we can't hit them but they can hit us. Come over here to the light. We're going to come down this hallway. Be careful. Don't step in the middle there. It will break on you. We will step in the middle in just a second. First, we want to grab the Lindell Soldier Ashes. And then we can drop down. We want to turn around immediately. We have some imps coming at us. Oh, thought I killed him. And then right over here we have a lever to pull. So on this first cleaver that's dropping down, we're going to want to get up on top of it. And then hop over. Ooh, that guy was waiting for me. We're going to run to the top of the stairs really fast. Take these guys out first. If you want to kill all the zombies, you can. I'm not going to bother with them. Just be careful not to get grabbed by them like that. As soon as I said something, I got grabbed. That's how it works, right? Get the dra Dragon Crest Shield Talisman plus one. That just boosts your defense against physical attacks. So if you want to take less damage, put that on. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves for a second. Right here we land right back where the floor collapsed on us. We're going to go back down it. And go run through these cleavers. Gonna make it? I made it. 
We're gonna run all the way to the end. There's gonna be a guy on a horse. One of those Spectre dudes. A lot of those guys run into the cleavers and kill themselves anyways. Hop down right here. Pick this guy out before he has a chance to attack us. Cool. We got a sacrificial twig from him. They do have a small chance to drop that, by the way. Get some root re resin. And then right here is the most annoying part. We got to get this guy to chase us. But first, let's grab all these items, including the uh, prattling pate that we just got that says, let's get to it. Just make sure that he's following you. Kind of want him close because he likes to back off for some reason. You think FromSoft making this mechanic, they would make the guy a little more aggressive. But when we get over here, he likes to back away a lot. And there he goes. He's starting to back away. Just keep getting close to him and trying to dodge. There we go. Perfect. And now somewhere a heavy door has opened up. So we have to make sure that we kill him or else the boss door will not open up. Luckily that went a little smoother than it usually does. On some of my practice runs, I think it took me like a full minute to get him to step into the light. It's pretty obnoxious, not gonna lie. Over here, take this zombie out. It's the only one I like to take out because if I don't, then my mimic tier starts aggroing to him during the boss fight. And I want him to help with the boss. Not be trying to fight something outside the boss fog wall. Damn. Got moves, bud. So for killing that boss, we get the Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. It's a legendary summon. We're going to come over to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. I'll see everybody over there. Let's open up our map. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a marker right about here. We're going to put a marker over here. We're going to put a marker right about here. Our fourth marker can go over here. And then lastly, our fifth marker will be up there. Let's hop on torque. Go ahead and drink our flask. Summon in our Mimic tier. Buff our weapon. As you can tell, we're about to fight an enemy. Back away. Wow. And back away far enough, I guess. Ooh, that was very close. You almost got me there. 
So we get a golden seed for killing that boss. Or mini boss, really. And we can get the giant crusher. Pretty good strength weapon. Over there, you can see that we have a marker down. We're not going to get it just yet. We're going to veer off to the south and go up to this church. And then on our way back down, we'll grab that item. Pick up the missionary's cookbook four. Grab the golden order seal, and then we're going to light this grace, and we're going to sit at it. We have some dialogue with Melina. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent. To search the depths of the Golden Order, through understanding of the proper way, our faith, our grace, is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? So we get the Outer Order emote for talking to Melina. run straight down here and then we're gonna head east and right over here we should have a path to be able to get down Now, before we go over to the fourth marker, there is a silver scarab that's over here. What I like to do is stay on torrent because this scarab runs straight through this area. And it's so much easier to just put your sword down and kill this scarab. Just like this. We get the Ash of War Prayerful Strike. Getting a lot of faith build. Ash of Wars and spells in this area makes sense. We are in the Altus Plateau. Let's light this grace and then we're going to activate this summoning pool. This place is going to have a ton of illusory walls. First one is right here. We're going to come over here, take this guy out. Again, make sure that you're two-handing your weapon. Come over here, get a golden ruined five. Jump down on top of this dude's head. And come over here, take this guy out. Come over here, take that guy out. And then right here in this chest, we're gonna get ourselves the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 2. So now we'll be able to buy an infinite amount of Smithing Stone 3s and 4s. So as soon as we step on this elevator, we want to run to this edge and then right by this route, roll off. Get yourself a smithing stone five. Let 
right over here. Roll into this wall. It's an illusory wall. Same thing for right here. Like I said, we're going to have a ton of these illusory walls over here. What I like to do is I like to hop onto this route over here, down to here, and take out these vulgar militiamen. You going to jump up here, bud? There we go. Get a stone sword key. I like to take these guys out first because when we get down below, we're actually going to have to fight an iron virgin. And it makes it a little difficult when you have these vulgar militiamen trying to kill you at the same time as you're trying to kill a iron virgin. We'll pick this item up real quick. And then right here, we have a statue that needs to be broke. So let's drink our wondrous flask of physic and let this iron virgin come over to us. And then soon as we can dodge, we're going to dodge. And this is the worst case scenario is being stuck in this corner right here. Just don't do a second grab. Ooh. That was close. Got grabbed again. That's twice. These ladies are no joke. Just take your time. It's not a race. You have to back away, heal yourself. I don't like fighting the Iron Virgins either. They're one of my uh, many hated enemies in this game. Pick up all this loot and then over here, get some Smithing Stone Sixes. And then we can climb up this ladder and continue on. We're going to go back across this route and then we're going to jump down to this one. Come through here. And now we're going to have those explodey ball guys or whatever they are. They're like stone. So be really careful. Drop down and they're going to try to explode while you're trying to recover. Right here, it's a trap. It's one of those explodey guys. And then what I like to do is come over here, get that guy to explode. Come over here. Just get them all to explode at once if you can. And then just pick up your loots. And then over here, we're going to have another illusory wall. We're going to walk on this route, jump to this one, come down here, right here. Grab a smithing stone five, and then we can jump over to this route. And then you want to run and jump. And then as soon as we drop down right here, a bunch of those explodey guys again.
right here we're gonna be fighting the Onyx Lord. Super easy boss fight. For killing him, you get the Onyx Lord's great sword. And then we can come out here and we see a divine tower. Now we can't go in this divine tower yet because we have not killed the main boss in uh, the volcano manor, which is Rikard. But we can light this grace. That way when we do kill him, we can come back here and get his great rune. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel back over to the outer wall phantom tree. Right up here, we're going to want to put on our Wondrous Flask of Physic. We're about to have to fight a Gargoyle. And this guy is all over the place. Take him out. And we get the Gargoyle's Great Axe. Let's hop back on Torrent. We're going to ride just northeast here. We're going to see an Erd Tree Sapling. Grab ourselves a couple of Golden Seeds. And then we'll start putting some more markers down. So we get two Golden Seeds over here. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second marker is going to be right here here. Our third marker is going to be right about here. Fourth one right here. And then our fifth one over here. We're going to switch to our bow. Over here we have a silver scarab and because it's glowing we know that it's going to disappear if we get too close. So we want to use a projectile. And we get the ash of war golden parry. I may switch that. Golden parry is very useful. It allows you to have better parry timing. So if you miss a little bit, it uh, gives you a window of freedom to still get the parry off. Not much, but enough that it helps. So now we're heading west towards the second marker. Grab a golden rune four and then go northeast. And right over here, we have one of those female bat ladies. I want to kill her so we can get ourselves a rune nine. And then right here is a golden rune ten. We're going to hop back on torrent. And then be very careful. There's a troll off to the left. So what we want to do is we want to come around this way hop up grab ourselves an arteria leaf and then we are going to be fighting an old acquaintance haven't seen this guy since the very beginning i see the little tarnished smoldering
pretty easy. So for killing him, we get the Viridian Amber Medallion plus one. And all that's going to do is boost your stamina. If that's something you need, go ahead and put it on. I doubt that's going to be a medallion that many need. But it's there if you need it. Hop off Torrent. Let's light this Grace. And then now we're going to be grabbing a bunch of loots in this field. Three to be exact. Got one right here. And then if we head south. There's going to be some bats over here. We can get a golden rune five. And then be careful for the troll. But we have one of those guys holding a chest. And if we kill him, we can get another golden rune. This will be a golden rune 12. And then we're just going to turn right back around. And this time we're going to head north. Just keep heading north here. And you're going to see a set of stairs. We're going to go up these stairs and then head southeast straight ahead. We have an item it's just a golden rune too but every rune counts. Now veer off to the northwest. Start heading towards the fifth marker. Be really careful. We're going to run to the grace, light it, and sit at it to de aggro everything. If we have enough time, that is. Just enough time. Let's go ahead and pass the time to morning. You do not want to be at this merchant shack at night. There is a bell bearing hunter that spawns here. So make sure that you're here during the day. Let's talk to the merchant. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? We're only going to buy two items here. The perfume bottle and then the Sentry's Torch. This is going to be very handy a little later into the game. And then anything else you want to buy here, as usual, go ahead and buy it. I'll get it later. Okay, before we go any further, let's put a couple more markers down. Our first marker is going to be right about here. Second one should be about here. Third one over here. And then the fourth one right here. Now I didn't mark all the loots that we're going to be grabbing because there are a ton over here. So hopefully everybody can follow along. And it's not too much trouble for them to find all these loots. Get a golden ruin 10. And then we want to head north over here behind this big old tombstone to grab a golden ruin 5. We're going to continue to head towards our first marker. Grab the wing crystal tier. Head south down this path. Grab a golden rune four. And now we have looted this whole area. Want to be very, very careful. There are some iron giants shooting great bows 
at us. We're going to be heading to the second marker before we have to deal with them, though. We can hop off right here, activate this summoning pool. And then if you want to fight these guys over here, you can. I'm not going to bother. You can use your spirit summon to help. But we get the Twiggy Crack tier, which is really unique. You can put that into your Wondrous Flask of Physic and use it as a... Um, what is it? Twiggy branch that'll prevent you from losing your runes. Pretty cool. So then you don't have to use those twiggy branches. We're going to head down this path. Be careful. You can hear the arrows hitting the ground. Also, be careful uh, to go in this pond. You don't want to go too far into it. There's a big old crab that you'll have to fight if you do. We're just going to talk to Blackguard. What are you looking at? Oh, you again, is he? Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. Mate, hey, there's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the Dung Eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. He's a killer. Kills people and curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses to keep them cursed forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ever been more scared neither. Rooted to the bloody spot while he did that to my friend. Yeah, that dude is pretty creepy, that's for sure. Right here we have a new item we can buy from him. It's boiled crab. If you're going to want to buy this from him, buy it now because he is not going to have a happy ending later. Nobody really does in any of the Souls games, let's be honest. So now what we're going to do is still hug the side of the cliffside. Just follow this path down. We're going to veer off to the left. We're going to use this spirit spring to jump up. Grab ourselves some gravity stone fans. Kill these bears. We don't want them getting in the way. And as you can see, we have another statue to break. But first, let's go ahead and open up the door. Just here. That way we can get away from the big old rune bear. Here in just a moment. We'll heal ourselves. Put on our wondrous flask of physic. Run in front of the bear. And then run away. Just run straight towards this statue. He didn't even break it. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, that's some messed up stuff. Grab these smithing stone sixes. And then we're going to hop off Torrent run straight into this tomb we'll take the elevator down let's 
Let's go ahead and light this grace. And then I think what I'm going to do is light this summoning pool as well. That way we don't have to do it at the start of the next video. Because right here is where I'm going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.